Doctor Who's fable Golden Age was co-led by two men, Philip Hinchcliffe, who we discussed in the last video, and Robert Holmes, who we'll be discussing today. Holmes, whose Doctor Who career spread throughout his life, he clearly loved working on the show, but what was his involvement? Robert Colin Holmes was born on the 2nd of April 1926 in Tring, Hertfordshire. In 1944, at the age of 18, Holmes joined the army, fighting with the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders Regiment in Burma. He rapidly earned a commission and as such became the youngest commission officer in the entire British Army during the Second World War. The fact that he lied about his age to get into the army was discovered at his commissioning, but apparently the only reaction was a general who praised him, adding that he had done the same thing himself. Soon after the war, he left the army and joined Hendon Police College, where he graduated top of his year. He then joined the Metropolitan Police in London, serving at Bow Street Police Station. It was during this time he became interested in writing and soon found work writing for both local and national newspapers, initially in London and later in the Midlands. In 1960, after some work on other projects appeared to be falling through, Holmes decided on the off chance to submit his story, The Space Trap, to the Doctor Who production office and found a favourable response. This time from assistant script editor Terence Dix, who developed it with Holmes to cover the eventuality of an agreed script falling through. At the beginning of the sixth season, there was no slot available for Holmes' script, but the production staff began experiencing a number of problems with the scheduled scripts. The Dominators, the first story in the season, ended one episode earlier, resulting in an extra episode being tacked onto the following story, The Mind Robber. When the fourth six-part storyline fell through, the story before was extended by two episodes, while Dix worked with Holmes to adapt the Crotons to fill the rest of the gap schedule. Later, a story called The Dream Spinner, written by Paul Wheeler, fell through, and the replacement was hastily written. Holmes thought it would be a clever idea to mix the sci-fi genre with the western. This would be called The Space Pirates. The next Doctor was chosen, and Holmes was approached to write the opener of the next season. The working title for this serial was The Facsimile, and was based on a story that Holmes wrote for the 1960 film Invasion, which featured an alien crashing into the woods near a rural hospital where a medical examination reveals its alien nature. The hospital is later visited by other aliens seeking a fugitive criminal. This is arguably Holmes' first proper story. He ended up writing 73 episodes in total for the series and the script edited three total seasons. His final episode that he wrote for the series would be the 13th episode of The Trial of Time Lord. He did plan to complete the 14-part series but sadly passed away before completing the series. 